and even money. Your friends are so generous, Yuri. <sighs> they can't afford this. They can barely get by as it is. Well, I'm sure they're worried about you and want you to have a safe journey. <laughs> it's more likely they're just glad to be rid of a troublemaking kid. That's not true. Guess I can't come back empty-handed now that they've given us all this stuff. Now I gotta bring back the Aquablastia, no matter what. Yuri, how old are you? I don't know if you're qualified as a kid. I thought Yuri was like 19 or 20. I want to get an encounter link here. Okay, fine. That's cool. Yo, repeat in the party is sick. And I love it. No, don't, don't hit my dog. Very rude. You can hit me and Estelle all you want, but not my dog. I think there's a side quest at that tent over there. Also, there are discovery points too. We've come a long way from the capital. Yes, I wonder if we're safe now. Hard to say, those guys are a sticky lot. Huh? Greetings. Hello. Welcome, good travelers. Is this a shop? It's the King of Adventure Travelers Lodge. Oh, big brother, do you try to be a do you try to be a bit more friendly? Sorry, Karen. Please, you have to excuse him. My name is Karen, and this is Rich. You're operating a traveling inn. Doesn't the King of Adventure refer to something else, something more well known? The late Emperor's brother, His Highness Regin, was known by that name thanks to his insatiable thirst for adventure. Indeed, we took our name from His Highness Regin. It's true. We respect him. Ah, it's a pretty nice name then. So are the two of you married? Married? I... Do we look like we're married? Oh, it seems I was mistaken. So very sorry. If you're tired, perhaps you'd like to stay the night. What should we do? I'm pretty sure this op... Operates as our inn. Sure, we'll sleep here. Excellent. Thank you very much. Enjoy your shut-eye. Oh, big brother, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's quite alright. Okay, then. The players repeat the whole time simply because he's a dog? Yeah, you need, you need no more reason than that. Play as him because he's a dog. I Honestly, I play as repeat a lot, too. I played as Rapide for a while. Of all, I try to play as all the characters. Rapide is definitely one of my favorites to play as, for sure. Did you rest well? Yeah, thanks a lot. I do hope our pads will cross again somewhere out in the road. Yes, I do hope so too. Later. All right, goodbye. Alright, so we can just rest here because you can't go back to Zophius, I think? Christening Estelle. 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 She's been mumbling to herself for a while now. Mm -hmm. Hey, you coming? We don't have all day here. Estelle. Estelle. Looks like she's in her own little world. Hey, Estelle. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm coming. Do they not have nicknames where she's from? I guess not. Dude, the Stell is just trying to get used to her own name. Her nickname, rather. Do not, um... Hold up. I wanna go up there. Or is it not possible to go there from this side? By the way... Um, what was I saying? I was gonna say something and I forgot. Um, I was gonna say, the world in Tales of Vesperia and just older Tales of games, you'll slowly start to see that I prefer exploration in this game than Zillia. While Zillia is still a good game, I do think exploration took a down seat. I love the world map in Symphonia, Abyss, and Vesperia a lot. Like, it's just... Also, I love that. I love the cry of victory. But um, I do like the world map of 
Tales of, like, Symphonia, Abyss, and Vesperia a lot more. All the discovery points are very good. And all that. And <laughs> nice to meet you, Rapide. Yuri, is this dog yours? Yeah, he's my partner, Rapide. <gasps> oh, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Did you actually understand what Rapide was saying? No. Yeah, I guess that was a stupid question. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Can Estelle talk to animals? I would love her even more if she could. Too many. Kingdom Hearts 2, I would grind levels in Pride Land so I could be in lion form. Ah, uh, good times. I, I like, um... Lion form is pretty neat in Kingdom Hearts 2. It's very unique, I will say that. <laughs> it's much better than Kingdom Hearts 1's Atlantica. I think Lion Sora controls pretty well. Why can't I not? There we go. It's very hard. I don't know why, but it's very hard to adjust to playing this game with a dual sense controller. What's up, plant thing? I'm gonna wreck you. Papa. Dude, Azure Edge looks so gorgeous. Just the blue. It's so blue. I love it. Get him, repeat. Also, I love to see Yuri just punch stuff with his side attack. You know what? Plays repeat. Only one art? Okay. Lion form is more mobile and fast, preferred to human form. I can go either way. I definitely see... I will say I like Lion Sora, but it doesn't make playing human Sora feel like a downgrade. I could still play the human Sora just fine, but I do think Lion form is cool and very unique. I will say I love the fact that you could just run around spam magic. The way you could spam magic with Lion Form is really cool. I'm traveling. Never guessed I'd leave home quiet like this. Are you sorry to be leaving the capital behind, Yuri? When I was in the lower quarter, I was too busy just living day to day. Never really thought about it. I guess I did feel like setting out on an adventure sometimes. I'm so excited just to be outside. I've always dreamed of going out into the world. Being excited and all is fine, but don't overdo it. We need to find Flynn, right? I'm excited and worried all at the same time. <laughs> all right. That's a lot of emotions. Let's work together. Yeah, I love playing as all the characters in this game. They are all fun. Trying to find side quests, but I don't know if there are any. Oh, these are the same guys. Yeah, these guys just act as you're in because I'm pretty sure you can't. You can't heal in Zophius. So these guys act as you're in. So I'm looking around. I want to make sure I don't miss any side quests. Because side quests are incredibly missable in this game. They are very easy to miss. Even more so than Zillia, because Zillia had the skits that pointed you towards the side quest. I stunned you. Also, this battle theme is really good. 
No, leave the healer alone, please. There we go. Dog against a wolf. Can you ask for a better fight? I think not. It'll be a hundred I don't think I found any side quests in Vesperia yet. Yeah, they're very hidden. I'm not surprised. They're pretty hidden. If you go through the game normally, you can go the whole game without even finding any. You kind of have to go out of your way to find them. Outside the barrier. I've heard stories about monsters living outside the barrier, but it's really true. Yeah. Now I understand why everyone says the world outside the barrier is so dangerous. It's pretty easy to forget the monsters are even out here when you live on the inside. You better not let our guard down. Right. <laughs> I do think the side quests start appearing at least when you have, like, the next character. So, you know. There might not be any now, but I, um... <laughs> I'm being a perfectionist, as I always am when I play games like this. Also, I'm just taking time to experience, like, the world. It looks... I'm a big fan of the way the world looks, but I think we're ready to go to Dayton Hold. Also, I am gonna play as repeat more, but I'm gonna go back to Yuri for now. Damn you, wolf. Also, I have to do something with auto items. I do not want them using my whole item supplement. Not good with magic. You don't use magic, do you, Yuri? It's not that I don't. I can't. That's one talent I don't have. But anyone with Blastia should be able to use magic if they just learn the theory, right? I told you, I don't have the knack for learning magical theory. So, you're bad at studying. That's one way to put it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you think those knights followed you here? I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay, and I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can just pass through the hold. Where's she off to now? Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil. But the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritia gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. I do want a uh, refresher on this system, so I'm going to actually watch the tutorial. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. 
When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodyblastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. Yeah, this game has a really in-depth skill system, which I do kind of... I have a love... I have a love-hate relationship with this system. Which I'll get into after the tutorial. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Did you get all that? I did. You learned fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. Add the book. Yay. Hit the status. All right, cool. Alright, but anyway, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with this system. Because I do like the fact that weapons teach you skills. Um, but where the hate comes in is the fact that some of the skills are things you should be able to do mid-game. Or automatically. Like, um, backstepping. You could backstep later. You can also use items on other characters with a skill. I do feel like some of the skills are just like, why? <laughs> like some of the skills should just be given to you automatically. That's the part I do not like about the skill system, but for the most part, it's good. So I think there's a side quest to start here. This reserve of provisions is for the use of the body border guards. I'm very sorry, but I can't let you use any. That's not the one though. It's up here, maybe? Oh, a chest. Neat. Apple gel. Sick. Basically, buy every, we every weapon? Yes. Very important. Because every weapon... Weapons do have better stats, but you want to learn all the skills. Ideally. Huh? You shouldn't be up here. As you can probably tell, you can't see this place from far below. It's the best. Yeah, I'm up here, though. 